Welcome back everyone. So we are now making the return journey from the from from Canada to to New York USA. So as I told you I made the first trip from USA to Canada without a passport and I am now making the return journey also trying to enter the USA back into trying to enter the USA from Canada without a passport uh, the first time I have made this trip before but then I am making the trip down on camera so I will keep you posted to all of you Please subscribe to the channel and welcome to the family. So let me switch my camera around and you can have a look. There we go. So this, this is the highway, this is the Queen, uh, Queen Elizabeth Highway. I'm heading towards uh, Niagara Falls. And I would like to use this opportunity to give a big shout out to to Hannah, she provided me with a beautiful jacket. Uh, I will give you the information that you can get some of those beautiful kente jackets that when you wear overseas, you, you tend to stand out. Yes, that's the sign. So, yeah, follow me and keep watching as I drive along. side of the border okay and I am going over the border into the United States coming up is the Peace Bridge So we are here at the border. This is the peace, the peace bridge border between the United States and Canada. So this is the same bridge that I took when I was entering Canada. But on entry into Canada, you will have to go over the bridge, the peace bridge that takes you to the Canadian side, and you will be inspected on a, by the, the border patrol on the Canadian side. So coming to USA also, you go over the bridge, and then it brings you straight to the, um, the border patrol agents on the American side. So on the American side, all I do have today, as I did on Friday, is my, my naturalization certificate and my driver's license. I got no passport and I am going to record the full encounter and I'll let you know. So I am next in line, approaching the um, the border patrol. 
Central. Um, just gonna see how it goes. Entering the US with only my driver's license. And I do not have a passport, as I told you earlier on. All I have is my naturalization certificate. Which of course is not even the original copy, it's a photocopy because I've used the original copy to apply for a passport, which I'm still waiting for. And I do have my New York State driver's license here with me to show as a photo ID with my certificate, no passport. So I just want to see, I just want to show the world how easy it is to move around in North America, how easy it is to move around in the developed world, how easy it is to move around whilst in Africa, we are just our own worst enemy. We are trying to tie ourselves down. We are just fighting ourselves. We are doing everything. We are basically behaving like crabs. Behaving like crabs, you know, the crab. We are just tearing each other down. So, let's see how it goes. I'm basically returning to the United States after three days in Canada. But don't forget, I did cross over into Canada the same way I'm getting back to the United States without a passport, only in the driver's license and my naturalization certificate. So it is my turn and I am rolling up to the immigration officer. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling. And you're gonna hear the first time as well. Hello. Citizen of our country. Citizen of I'm a new citizen of the United States. Okay. I have applied for a passport and I'm still waiting. I do have my naturalization certificate. Thank you. <laughs> where, are, where are you coming from? Tilsonburg. What was the purpose of the trip? Just a three days weekend. Do you have friends and family there? I have a girlfriend there, okay. yes. I've been eating it, that's, yeah. Have a good day. Thank you very much. So, as you can see, I have been able to cross Hello, back. Interstate 190 southbound towards Niagara Falls for 14 miles. I've been able to cross back into the United States without any stress. This shows how um, how things works. Simple. Show your show your identification and then just cross over. That's it. There's no need for any bribes, no need for just simple question. Answer the question and then keep it moving. And that's it. So I'm trying to understand like what's what's the problem in Africa? Well, it's our problem. Why do we behave the way we behave? Why do we always try to pull, try to pull each other down? So I will show you along. Um, also, you can see ship into the United States. It's a Lincoln. Lincoln's. Um, they are primarily assembled in um, in Canada. And they have a huge market in the, in the States. So you can see, um, you can see here brand new cars being taken to the, the showroom somewhere in the United States, somewhere, maybe Buffalo. I've 
getting you out somewhere. Um, yeah. So you can see over here is a power plant. That's the Niagara River. It's a power uh, hydro power plant. That says upstate New York. Uh, the scenes are really beautiful over here, upstate New York. And one thing I love is my old school Tom Tom. You can never go back to this. Yeah. So if you are new over here, Please subscribe to the channel. You're welcome. You can leave a comment and I will show you along when I get back to my final destination in Queens, New York. I will keep posted also. Leave a comment also. Subscribe to the channel and refer the video to friends and family to show them how easy it is to travel in North America, how easy it is to travel in a developed world. You go to Europe, you could take a train from one country to another country without going through the hustle that we go through when traveling from uh, in between countries in, in West Africa. Try to, just try to travel from, from, from Ghana to Ivory Coast and see the hustle you go through. Try to go from Togo, from Ghana to Togo, from Togo to Benin, Benin to, to Nigeria, and see that the hustle you're gonna go through. But it was just less stress traveling from USA to Canada without without a passport. I don't have any passport. I just use my driver's license and a photocopy, not even in the original copy, a photocopy of my naturalization certificate or my citizenship certificate. That's all I needed. Okay? So, we have a lot of work to do back home. We have a lot to do. We, ECOWAS, need to do a better job. Um, the African Union, AU, OAU, whatever the, the abbreviation, they need to do a better job. They need to build. They need to build that. There should be that relationship where Africans we can travel easily, where African can just pick up his bag, pick up his passport, and be able to travel. But there's so much visa restrictions. I go from Canada to to to, to USA or USA to Canada. No visa is no, no no restriction. Not even a passport. I didn't use a passport. But I was able to make the trip. Okay? With no passport, I was able to make the trip. And I'm now back in New York. I'm heading back to my... I'm heading back to my... Uh, to my town, Queens. Um, I'm going to work tomorrow. So, enjoy the view. It's just one of the scariest. I hate this bridge. I just hate this bridge. It's so huge. And I do have the fear of heights, so. But it's huge, long, and it goes over there. And there's a Niagara River. Focal, focal. That, that, that's my easy pass. Okay, that's my easy pass. I do pay it all. And right above is um is um it 
captures every la license plate and it's gonna run into the system so when you don't have an easy pass you will have um, a bill in the mail and the most ridiculous part of it is when the bill comes in the mail your easy pass is, is more than an easy pass of maybe like a dollar or two is gonna cost you almost fifty dollars when it comes in the mail. But if you have an easy pass, it's it's kind of charged to your easy pass account. And yeah. Even even if you don't have money on your easy pass, you will have a negative balance. And whenever you make the payment, it clears off. So it's always good to have an easy pass. You have an easy pass. And yeah, that makes it traveling very easy. Okay. So I will keep you posted and I will show you along as I drive through upstate New York, headed down to Queens, Brooklyn, Queens. I am still on my trip back to New York and I decided to take a, a little uh, break so along the highway we have all of these places where you could, you could stop by um, just to stretch your legs grab a cup of coffee and just freshen up maybe use a restroom and all of that so as you can see it's just a, it's just an area where everybody just stop over here uh, taking a break and you can see the highway just behind me that is the, the main uh, expressway that runs from the north of New York all the way down 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 south to to Florida so I'm heading back everywhere I go I always rep the mobile 95 okay welcome back again to my channel so as i was saying i did make it across the um the american border so i did travel to canada and back into the united states without um a passport so i was able to use my just my citizenship certificate together with my driver's license and i did cross over from Canada back into the United States as you did see in the in the last video so in conclusion I just want to to raise this point as in um, the ways of travel in the United States the ways of travel in the developed world I know it's almost the same as as it is in in Europe where you could take one train from Germany to France to Italy and you could just move freely that's just how it is over here uh, traveling I've, I've traveled in between uh, Canada and the United States and I know it's very easy also you could just take you could just pick up your car and drive down to uh, to Mexico people do drive all the time take the road trip from from New York or from Florida or from Texas wherever you are you could just take the road trip down to to Mexico so the question that I am trying to uh, to answer or what I'm trying to figure out is what what stops what's like what stop us what makes it very should I say very impossible for us to travel in between in between countries in Africa what makes it impossible we do talk about um, AU, OAU, ECOWAS, and, and all of that. But at the end of the day, we are not able to travel in between countries freely. That's a problem. We are not able to travel in between countries. Just try try to go from Ghana to Cote d'Ivoire. I've been in Ivory Coast lots of time. Just try and, and, and see how it, it's going to turn out. You go from Takwari to Elubo. Once you cross the Elubo border, then all of your headache. Even in Ghana, even in Ghana at the Elubo side of the border, 
even at the Elubo side of the border, you go through hell to get out of your own country. And when you cross over from Elubo into um, into Noe, uh, that is the Avorian side, it is no good. You have to show Karante, Karisaju, and all the crap. And you have to pay some money before they can even stamp your passport. And when you cross over, uh, when you leave Noe, you start going there are a lot of checkpoints along the way Abuaso, all of those places there are lots of checkpoints along the way in Ivory Coast which of course shouldn't happen even when you are walking in Ivory Coast they will get the nerves to stop you and ask you for your ID Karante is you if you don't have it forget it you know what's gonna happen it's either you pay a bribe or they're gonna lock you up but that is not the case. I have lots of friends in Ivory Coast who have been in um, in Europe, and we always talked about this. I even hear that I, I know lots of people from Ivory Coast. No one is just gonna stop you on the street and ask you for your 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 your, your current day or for your green card or your resident permit or your passport or, or anything. But that is a problem that we have created for ourselves back in Africa. So, in conclusion, um, what I want to say is. We should learn to deal with ourselves better. We should do better as, as, as a continent. We should do better as Africa. We should do better as, 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 as black people. We should treat ourselves well. Okay? This, I know um, the white man just came and created that line, border, 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 but that is pure, that is pure nonsense. It is up to us to see that I am black this is my fellow brother, this is my fellow sister. We are all black. We don't have to treat ourselves as if um, uh, um, the white man is still. The white man came and they left long time ago. We are free, but we don't behave as if we are free. Okay, I can go on and on and on and on and on. Anyway, let me just cut it right here. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment, share the video, and I will see you in my next trip. Watch out. The next one is going to be very, very interesting. Okay. Thank you all. And have a good day.